Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video of the week where we have a series where we're trying to finish in the top 5% globally. At the beginning of this series I gave you a selection of players to choose from and as time goes by I'll tell you what to do with them, who to put on the bench and who to captain. So let's look at how game week 13 went and what we're going to do for game week 14. Starting with the bankers. Everyone has these bankers. We only have three now because James is injured. They are Ward, Martinelli and Haaland. Ward starts on the bench, Martinelli scored 2 and Haaland scored 13. Haaland was our captain, had the little hat on, so he got 26, so our bankers got 28 points in total. The keeper, you'd have had either Ramsdale or Pope. They both got 2 points, so you only got 2 for the keeper. There's a reasonable chance both of these will be keeping a clean sheet this coming week, by the way. Defenders, you'd have had 2 or more of these. Robertson, Cancelo, Perisic and Trippier. And they scored 2, 2, 1 and 2. So they averaged 3.5 points if you only had 2 of these. I know some of you had 3 of these. So bad week for defenders, bad week for keepers that we had chosen. Midfielders, you would have had 3 of these. Anthony, Bowen, Foden, Madison, Saka, Zaha. And they scored 1, 3, 1, 8, 1, 1. Bad week for midfielders as well then. So you'd have averaged eight points with the three midfielders that you would have had from the selection. You would have had two of these forwards. Jesus, Totny, Mitrovic and Solanke. And they scored two, two, six and one. So that was an average of five and a half for whichever forwards you had. The bench. This is where all the points were. And I think we had no injuries. So these didn't actually come on. But I'm showing you this just to show what you could have had if you weren't listening to me. <laughs> So Andreas got 10, Justin 6, Gehu 0, William 6, Bailey 13, Fafana and Patterson didn't play and Ward got 8. So a lot of managers this week had a very bad week. This is not just in the system but globally. The engaged managers had bad weeks. Some of them had a player that was injured or didn't play or they had a weak squad and their bench players came on. So um, you don't need to feel bad that you had a bad week because most people did and I had a bad week. The global average was 51, I believe, this week. So using this system, you'd have got a minimum of 39, an average of 47 and a maximum of 56, which is above the global average. And I checked the three teams that I know are doing this and their average was comfortably in the 50s. So that's good. So they uh, would have probably got green arrows, I guess, this week. And I put this here because I keep forgetting to say about if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. We've got 213 subscribers now, so that's very exciting. The last video in this series got 387 views and 24 likes. So that's above 5% of the likes. So if you like it, please like it. If you're not subscribed, if you did subscribe, that'd be very nice. Thank you. The transfers. I'm suggesting no transfers for this game week. Originally, I was thinking we would do, but the fixtures are okay. We've got good fixtures next week for the teams we've got. So I think we just hold fast for this week. So your bench. What I do now is I say who's going to be on your bench and then your other 11 sort themselves out. So Ward is going to be your keeper. He's at home to Man City. Ward has kept four clean sheets in the last five games. But Man City have got a reasonable chance of scoring, even if Haaland's injured. Although Haaland probably won't score if he's injured. So I'm now going to show you players and the first player I show you that you've got you put in position number three in your bench, the second one position number two and the third one position number one. So Patterson's first on your bench, he's probably still injured. Fafana's on your bench, he's injured. Nico Williams, Justin, Bailey, Tarkovsky, Gay and Andreas. Now for your captain this week I'm suggesting that the injured Haaland has the old mule hat. Currently he's been given a 75% chance of playing. It's possibly he's going to come on and only get one point. It's more likely he's either going to start or not come on at all, I think. But even if he comes on and just gets one point, he's almost certainly going to be the most captained player in the game. So you want to captain him. And if he does bad, lots of teams are going to do bad. If he does well, you'll do well. And you'll be beating all those managers that didn't want to captain him. So however you look at it, you want to captain Haaland this week. If on the morning or before of the games you find out he's definitely not playing, 
then make your vice captain your captain and just choose someone else as your vice captain. But assuming you hear nothing else, make Harland your captain. And your vice captain, if you have Saka, you put the vice captain bonnet on him. If you don't have Saka but you have Jesus, put the vice captain hat on him. If you have neither of those, then you want a vice captain Martinelli. There we have it. A nice easy thing to do this week. No transfers, just set your bench, set your captain and vice captain right and you should be okay. All the best for game week 14. Let's hope we do an awful lot better than the average this week. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>